Well, it's finally happened. The zombie outbreak is here, and it's nothing but a world of radioactive monsters and the walking dead out there. Hooray! Poor goddamn zombies! Oh well, I boarded up the windows and put up our no ghouls allowed sign, so that should keep them out. Am I the only one who's insanely sick of this? I mean, it's only just started, and already I'm bored. How are people still watching The Walking Dead? You know that I watched The Walking Dead, right? I mean, okay, fine, the last season was kind of lackluster, but... Yeah, whatever. Well, the greatest threat uh, is gonna be dying of boredom, so luckily I have just the game to breathe some fresh life into this whole Zambambo craze. Eschaton Media's Dystopia Rising. Alright guys, I plan to run this game like a 70s action-oriented TV show. Think Kung Fu and the Incredible Hulk meets a boy and his dog. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to show you my character. My character's American, but don't try to tell her that. She's a tried and true Texican cowgirl. Tall, dark, lean, quiet. In fact, she's such a quiet type, folks have been taking calling her Silent Hillary. Perfect. What did you make? I'm a Lascarian knife man with some minor psychic abilities. I have a nasty reputation for doing wet work. After a bad deal and a shifty employer's betrayal, I was forced to leave my hive. I won't go into what that deal was, but it earned me the name Reginald Evil. So, Reginald Evil and Silent Hillary. Does anybody know what Jacqueline's gonna play? Why, yes I do. He's a pipsqueak remnant that pinch up for fixing things. On account of him looking like one of those infected, folks have been calling him Parasite Steve. Okay, all of you are cone sitters, and Santa is gonna lock you in his basement for this. Now. Let's start by making sure that everyone's aware that we're looking at the tabletop RPG and not the LARP. While it's apparently very popular and successful, it's really not our area of expertise. Dystopia Rising is a world where the zombie outbreak happened so quickly it couldn't be stopped. This is mostly attributable to the plague already being inside of everybody's bodies, so the freshly dead rose without need for transmission. The zombies killed millions, so we sent in the army. The army came back as zombies, so we sent in the nukes. Then we got radioactive zombies, and we just kind of gave up. The virus evolved to work symbiotically with humans, up to a point. It makes people harder, better, faster, and stronger, but after a carrier dies, the virus takes the resulting carcass for a joyride. Between the infection and the radiation, human evolution has been supercharged. The Earth is now populated by divergent strains of humanity, each one stranger than the last. That being said, the world of Dystopia Rising is as much a character as the people. Survival is the real hero of this game, and anything that can survive the dystopic world is something to be taken seriously. Is that the ghost of better days? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Parasite Steve, you mother Oh no, no, I've had a, well, a change of heart. Oh, well, sucky what? Dick. No, we no, no, a... come on, I found something so much better. My name is Logan S. Preston PepsiCo. I'm a rover with faith powers based on the Church of the Telling Visions. In my travels, I've earned the nickname the San Dimas Kid. What does the S stand for? STATION! You broke the pact to be a tube worshipper who thinks Bill and Ted are excellent messiahs? That's ratchet. I hope you fall on your nuts, your nuts are crushed, and your nuts are dead. That's how pissed I am. We had a player's pack. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let you three figure this out while I go get a soda. Look, guys, you just have to read the ways of the wild stallions. Hear me out. You see, four score and seven minutes ago, Bill and Ted came from the signal and gave it a most divine voice. So the stallion set out to show everyone that you can do anything if you bodaciously cling to hope, even in a totally bogus world. Thus, we can extrapolate that party on dudes is not the cry of a fool. You never know when life can take a most serious turn, so to party on is to keep living. Which brings us to the great truth of the stallions. Really, there is party on, be excellent to one another. Alright, well, I've made peace with your stupid names. Have you beaten Parasite Steve into submission yet? No way. In a most excellent turn of events, we'll all be converted. Huh. So you're all telling visionaries now. Well, that'll make for an interesting angle. No way, Jose. We're converting for reals. Religion has never made sense to me before this moment. Wow, guys. That is pretty special. Wild, Wild Stallions, Stallions rule! rule! 
Dystopia Rising uses a d10 dice pool system based on combining a skill and an attribute and rolling for hits against a target number. It's very straightforward and simple, but has just enough crunch to be interesting. In addition to your standard suite of skills and attributes, you have a power that functions similar to Edge in Shadowrun, or feat points in Iron Kingdoms. This trait, called Infection, is both a blessing and a curse. While it can keep you alive for the time being, it grows continuously stronger and will eventually consume the survivor. There are a few fantasy elements in the form of rare psychic powers and faith abilities unique to the exceptionally religious. However, the most impressive engine in the game has to be the mass combat system, which governs the undead hordes. As much as we might try to ignore them, this is a zombie game, so they're still out there, wandering around, hanging out all bleary-eyed, ruining the downtown area. Stupid zombies. Among the zombies are all of your favorites. Giant tanks, acid spewers, agile hunters, and more. Plus, good old-fashioned shambling moaner. However, they remain more in the background. The zombies are handled more like a hazardous weather condition than anything else. This keeps the focus on the characters, their survival, and of course, how dangerous other survivors can be. Down the sides of soldiers Back to broken smoke behind So, first and foremost, character creation is done very well in this game. There are lots of choices, all of them solid and interesting. It'd take a concerted effort to make a truly boring character. I like it. It reminds me of old school White Wolf, except that when you're done making your character, you feel like you can actually do something. The biggest problem I have is that there are a number of strains that don't really make much sense. Such as? Red Star comes immediately to mind, and the Accensorite. These are philosophies, not races. Even from the perspective of an ethnic group, it doesn't work. Yeah, Strains does imply a racial makeup, not a societal paradigm. They do seem like they'd be better as religions or philosophies. I fail to see how evolution makes someone physically communist. The biggest problem that I have is that a lot of the Strains just kind of seem like palette swaps. I can see that. They have different rules and abilities, but there's really no appreciable difference between Yorkers, Americans, Texicans, Baywalkers, Vegasians, and Celestros. None of that really takes away from the game, though. No, not at all. You can make some really, really fun characters in this game, and new options are coming out all the time. I really like how the writers can take something that should be ridiculous and silly, and explain it in such a way that makes perfect sense. Like the telling visions in the King's Court? You want to have a challenge? Try to explain how Eschaton has managed to make them cool as hell, despite the admittedly silly premise. There's really nothing much to say about the engine other than it is awesome. I'm surprised at how good the mass combat engine is. It really, really makes it simple to handle huge swarms of enemies and still keep things interactive and strategic. I can't tell you how many RPGs fail outright at this. Combine all that with breathing some much needed life into the tired, battered horse corpse that is zombie diddly culture, and I think we can recommend the hell out of this. Totally! Dystopia Rising is great! If you're looking for a really good survival horror game with a strong system and a surprisingly deep and an imaginative setting, we can wholeheartedly recommend Dystopia Rising. Thanks for watching Roleplay Roulette. We'll catch you next time, and until then, keep those dice rolling. As you ride out to investigate, you discover the worst case scenario. It's a huge horde, hundreds deep and sporting a few big nasties. I say we run. There's a whole lot of open road out there, and there's no way they'll catch up to us. One problem, hombre. Their town's totally undefended. Their militia's out dealing with those Templar folk. Running away would not be crescent fresh. We've got to get the horde's attention and lead them away. <sighs> All right. For the record, I'm against this. Big damned heroes are known for getting canceled. I'll open up the top hatch and let go of my main shoulder cannon. That blast should be loud enough to turn the head the farthest biter. I'll mow a couple down, and then turn north. Let's lure them into the ruins, and hopefully we can lose them in the maze. Well, you've got their attention. Instead of roaming aimlessly, they're after you with purpose. I'll hit them with a few sticks of dynamite. That'll thin the ranks a little bit. You reach the ruins. The streets are as clear as can be hoped, but really only passable because of how well built your tank is. Reginald, your lighter stops working. Damn! I forgot to barter for more butane. Well, never mind the dynamite. My rifles are done. I'm just down to my revolver. I'm gonna do a bootlegger spin into a side alley. Don't worry guys, I'll slip it with my tubular driving. I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch, as you whip into the next alley, you find an overturned flatbed loaded with industrial piping. At this speed, you can't avoid it. Oh, bad news. The car is trashed and the horde is surrounding you. You two are okay, but the San Dimas kid is impaled through the chest. He dies in seconds. 
But I'm a leaf on the wind. No! You can't kill him. He's everyone's favorite. Okay, I'll peek through the escape trap. Are there any manholes nearby? Any avenues of escape that the crawlers aren't blocking? That's a negative, but there is a brute stomping its way through the crowd, and it reaches you and begins pounding on your car with its titanic fists. I guess there's only one thing left. I'm not gonna walk. I'll open the internal hatch leading to the gas tank and stuff it full of dynamite. I'll leave one poking out and take aim at the blasting cap. Then I look back to Hillary with the big question on my face. I nod quietly and take his hand. Wild stallions rule. That wasn't very funny. What part of Dystopia Rising made you think this was going to be funny? I tried to be a man. I tried to build a home. But we both know it's been crumbling too long.